Hello guys, it is Operation Dodstorm here. I have been busy to death in the past two weeks with all of my relativity and my physics classes, but then I'm back to do what me and the druids do best, and that is destroy. Alright, let's start. So, my first druid, which is going to be the Avatar of Wrath, I want to place it in about the center of the map. Um, so, I will say about here. That looks good. And let's go. So, I've just finished placing all six druids down. Um, I can't, I couldn't exactly place them side to side because um, there's not enough space, but I basically did like a zigzag sort of shape, which I think looks pretty nice. Um, now that we've gotten our, all of our druids down, we're going to place down our Oban, which I think um, I'd like to go on the left side of the map, so I will say about, um, let's go here. Yeah, that is good. Okay, so I'm just getting all of my druids to um, Heart, Heart of Vengeance right now, which is the first step. Um, 424, um, it's a, it's your choice. Do you want to you know pop the um, the camo or not? Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, but here's the plan. So basically, out of three rounds, so that's going to be 33, 36, and 37. I'm going to choose any two of those three rounds and just leak them, like just t tank them. Um, that's gonna give me, um, that's gonna make me lose between 100 and 150 lives. And that is going to give me the Heart of Vengeance I need. So all of these druids, after that happens, are going to, um, attack, uh, with, I think, 90%, yeah, 90% faster. Or no, actually, um, yeah, yeah, it, it is, yeah, it, in total it's gonna be 100% faster than um, the 000 druid. So when you get the um, Heart of Vengeance, that gives a plus 10% attack speed. And then if you tank like I think, you know, 90 lives or so, at least 90, you get a plus 90% attack speed. So in total, we're gonna we're literally going to be getting all of these druids a, a plus 100%. In other words, a double attack speed. So I'm going to tank, uh, I think, 33 and 37. So while I do that, I'm going to get all of these druids to Druid of Wrath, so that's going to be one, two, um, yeah. I don't have the money yet, I will. But yeah, that's the plan. So Druid of Wrath first, all of these guys are going to be to um, Druid of Wrath. Do not get Heart of Oak, by the way, you just don't need that, it doesn't play any role over here. Um, after Druid of Wrath, we're going to basically um, get a village and an alchemist, and that's basically going to be enough for the first um, Gunarius. Alright, one thing to note over here, I was a little lucky because I have 76 lives left. The camos on 37 actually tank exactly 77 lives, so... Fortunately, I still have my brambles up from 36. They're gonna tank, um, they're gonna get some of these balloons, so... I won't be tanking all of them, because, I mean, of course, if I tank all of them, I'm dead. But, um, yeah, that was a little bit of a lucky draw. This is something you have to be just a little bit, um, I guess, careful about, so... But anyways, I'm gonna put down my village right now, um, that's, this should be a decent place, it really doesn't matter, I'm, I'm not like gonna put down a lot of towers in this tutorial, so don't, you know, like, fret about, you know, the exact placement, or, you know, will I have place, um, uh, for other towers and that kind of stuff, um, but, yeah, for now, just get the, um, these guys down, so the, the village and the alchemist, right, so, this alchemist is gonna be up to, um, a... Let's get Berserker for now, with the faster throwing. Um, can speed this up. Um, yeah, I need the Raider Scanner for round 42, by the way. So, it is okay. We don't need to get Jungle Drums immediately, because Gunarius is not going to be, you know, in range of the Druids, like, for a couple rounds or so. So, we have time to um, get bigger radius and then just get the Jungle Drums um, once we have the money for it. We have the first call coming up, so let's see just how easily we take down these ceramics. So we can use brambles if we want, just for fun, although, honestly, this should be, like, cheesy peasy, which... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get those, don't worry, don't worry, we're totally fine. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go for, um... Yeah, let's go for a pop -less. let's just start going for those, so... I will... That was my phone, oops, <laughs> sorry, um... I will be getting a stronger stimulant later, but I'm just gonna get these um, poplars going first. I think they will, you know, help a fair bit, you know, with these um, ceramics. And I believe that this... Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's much, 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 much better. Wow. Yep, I got 
a second pop list and this last wave of ceramics should be absolutely cheese guys i mean look the, the totem is helping you know slowing down the balloons but yes we absolutely friggin crushed that so this first lunarius has you know like barely even gotten to the top of the map and it is basically dead so we are going to continue you know, this is one of those things, I mean, why do people want to farm so much, you know, for normal Bonarius, when, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, everybody has to watch my videos, but then I'm putting so many of these, you know, Druid videos for normal Bonarius, you know, with no monkey knowledge, no farming, nothing, and when you use, like, a perma brew, and, you know, you're not, you know, going for that whole, you know, 120,000k spare cash, that sort of thing, it's actually just so easy, guys, like, you know, why... I don't understand, you know, why people still, you know, want to go t through the hassle of, you know, farming and everything, you know, for something like just normal Lunarius, right? Like, comment below, do you, do you agree or disagree? Okay, so second Lunarius is coming soon. Um, as you can see, I've gotten all of these to um, Poplast, you know, with the Thorn Swarm. I've gotten one um, Stronger Sibilin with the um, Faster Throwing, which, you know, should make things just a little bit easier. We also have the uh, wall of trees going, you know, which it, you, don't, you don't need to, I mean, if you want, you can just, you know, use it, make a couple extra bucks just if you want, but otherwise, I mean, we're, yeah, we already got the money, wow. And, and we're sad, actually, I mean, this second Lunarius, it's gonna go down super duper duper easy to the point where you don't even have to look at the friggin' screen. And now, what do we have next? I mean, that's the question, and that, it turns out, is that we're gonna go straight for the Avatar of Wrath. I mean, we literally don't even need to do anything right now. Yeah, this is down, like, absolutely easy. There we go. Thank you for the 50 monkey money. Um, while we're waiting for the Avatar of Wrath, I do want to say one thing that... I know there's been a teaser um, from Ninja Kiwi about the next um, boss balloon that's coming up. It's, it's a new boss balloon, by the way. For those of you who don't know, for those of you who've been living under a rock, just kidding, <laughs> Um, it's called the Leech. Um, it's not, you know, the same as, you know, the, um, any of the previous bosses. It's going to be a completely new boss balloon. It's called the Leech. Um, as for what the boss balloon um, looks like, guys, ju just look at it. Like, look up the teaser and just find a picture of the boss balloon. I think it looks absolutely fucking sick. It looks unbelievable. Like, Blue Radius looks like a joke compared to it, honestly. I mean, it looks absolutely freaky i cannot wait to see what the the normal boss looks like and imagine what the elite leech is gonna look like it's gonna be absolutely insane um as for what the um boss one is gonna do in the sense what its power is um we don't know yet exactly you know there there you know basically just you know been some hints like you know beyond the grave and that sort of thing um but i i believe it's gonna be some form of you know spawning balloons or you know spawning destroyed balloons or something you know similar to the um prince of darkness that sort of thing but i i cannot wait guys i i don't know how long we're gonna take to release the boss um sometimes they release stuff fast sometimes they take an extremely long time like they actually did for Bonerius. um either ways you know what it's fine honestly i want them to take their time to do these things right and put out the best possible result because I mean, let's, let's be honest, I mean, the way they're, you know, producing these amazing things, I'm honestly fine with, you know, how how long they take and, you know, how patiently they are, you know, putting in time to make these things as good as possible for us. So, comment below um, on what you think of the um, upcoming boss based on what we know about it, but then, at least as far as I'm concerned, I cannot wait. I am absolutely stoked to death. Yeah, let's grab him. There is the Avatar of Wrath, and see you on the third boss. Alright guys, the third boss is out, and Avatar of Wrath, it is showtime. Show us how fast you can crush this boss. I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to buy anything right now. I just want you to see how quickly this thing goes down. So this, look at the health bar, that is like, unbelievable. It's not even in range yet, okay now it is. But yeah, that thing is absolutely gonna get crushed in seconds i mean it's probably not even gonna make this turn right let's see um in the meantime you know what that's holy crap that's actually something that's so cool i never i'll probably never explicitly realized but i kind of like you know how if i give the balloons and the moabs like a different skin based on um 
you know what, what I want. You know, I've chosen the the retro Moab and the BFB. And on the other hand, the Blue Nereus, you know, just spawns blue uh, Moabs in their regular skin. Um, I think that actually looks really nice. You know, just having you know these two different skins of um, you know Moabs on screen at the same time. I think it just looks really pleasant. Um, also, yeah, I I got too excited. You know, the the, the Blue Nereus, you know, is able to uh, make a couple turns, but then. Out of the um, first three bosses, I believe, you know, this one has gone down by far the fastest. Okay, so I've gotten a uh, mib for DDTs. Um, I'm about to, yeah, here it is. Here is the permabrew. After I get this, after this guy gets the permabrew, you will be shocked. His attack speed, his pierce, his everything is absolutely off the charts, guys. I mean, look at, look at round 95. I mean, it's just like not even gonna appear on the screen. I mean... Once the DDTs like you know come to this bend, I mean they're not they're not even you know reaching the wall of trees, right? They're just absolutely getting crushed. It's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, the next step. So I've got the permabrew. Um, I'm probably gonna get the call to arms later. But first, I'm going to um grab a couple overclocks, which I can I can place them wherever. Who cares? But yeah, let's get the um overclock first. Here it is. Um uh, and. I'll try to use these for um, the fourth boss, although again, it's not actually needed. I mean, it's just gonna be super duper easy. But just to make it even cheesier, I'm gonna use the um, overclocks for the fourth boss. Ah, uh, here we are. Let's start the overclocking. So, that's one. Um, you can use tech bots if you want, I mean, but um, I usually just. I don't find the need to, because I mean, it's just, you know, like two overclocks for one tower. It's pretty simple. So, um, but, but here's how, if you don't want to use a, a tech bot, here's how you do it. So, wait for about half, um, and yeah, start the second overclock. And now, um, basically, the way it works is, you just keep it on permanent overclock. So whenever this, um, bar, um, finishes up, you just start the next overclock, and you just continue that. Um, as for Blunarius, I mean, I know he's spawning 10 ZOMGs. From you know six Moabs in the previous boss to ten ZOMGs now, but then, yeah, you you get the point, right? So, so guys, we annihilated the first the fourth the fourth boss. Sorry, yeah, the fourth boss. Um, we've got the overclocks going. I just got the call to arms, which we don't need right now. Um, we're gonna want to use it for the final boss um, to be safe. That's why I got it. Um, but yeah, right now, I mean, just continue your um overclocking for now. Um, with the permabrew, I mean, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, the pierce and, you know, the number of balloons that, you know, come out on these rounds. Um, if you are not getting permabrew, and, yeah, if you, if you are not, you know, getting a permabrew, like, you know, if you are, you know, doing a maximum spare cash kind of run or something, then at some points, you know, you would have to worry a little bit about, you know, the pierce not quite being enough for, um, a couple of these rounds in the sense... You might have to use a couple of abilities like a brambles or a wall of trees or something like that, but then with the permabrew, we're gonna have absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's just gonna be absolutely cheesy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. So just one final thing, guys. I am going to get a uh, perma spike for the end of the map. Um, I don't think this is actually needed, so like relax. But um, it's just a safety net, you know, just in case something goes wrong. Um. I think, you know, once or twice, you know, I was just, you know, playing through these, you know, Blunarius, and, um, I think, you know, at the, maybe at the last second, this probably only happened once, but then, um, some ceramic, or, you know, some clump of ceramics just managed to, you know, just rock it through. I'm not sure how exactly. Um, I had my fast forward on, which is maybe kind of a mistake, given that I didn't have this, you know, safety net, but, um, yeah, once we get the permanent spike, I mean, we are 100% guaranteed gonna win so so yeah the final boss is coming up so all we actually have to do is I, I can fast forward um just spam the overclock spam the call to arms that's all you gotta do and um get the permabrew uh sorry not not permabrew get the perma spike once it um you have the money for it um you know, you don't need to use these open abilities you can just use them for fun if you want to but otherwise you know let's just spam these abilities um spam the overclock and yeah, we are good to go. And there it is, gang. Perma Spike. We're safe. Nothing can hurt us. Nothing can stop us. Guys, don't even look at these bad balloons. I mean, seriously. 
Baboons can get out the way, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I would say that if we didn't have this, you know, perma spike and perma brew or anything, then, you know, sometimes that, you know, that last bad balloon does kill me when I'm trying to, you know, create these maximum spare cash guides, but I mean, that's not what we're doing over here. I mean, right now, we are just, you know, doing what the druids do best, and that is, you know, just make the balloons like, look, look like an absolute comedy, an absolute joke. An absolute embarrassment. <laughs> um, yeah. Yep, that's it. The last bat is down. And... Yeah, Perma Spike did actually come in a little bit clutch over there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sell these balloons short, you know, when... Uh, I think that, you know, Perma Spike was actually pretty important over there. But, I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're done, guys. We're done. We, we did it. Yeah, I believe that's it. Yeah, good Balloon Radius. Get out the way. <laughs> we're done, yeah. Couple of GDTs. Uh, hope they don't kill us. We're good, thank goodness. Just kidding. I mean, I, I don't know if it's ever actually happened that you know the balloons remaining on the screen, you know, kill the player after he's you know beaten the final Brunerius. That would be such a meme if that happens. But hi guys, tell me in the comments how do you like these guides? I've made a lot of these, you know, druid guides so far. You know, I did this, you know, whole spare cash thing. I did a number of those. Um, I got a little bit tired of those, not gonna lie, so you know, I just, you know, decided to make some, you know, normal, just easy druid, you know, cheesing the Blunarius guides, but tell me in the comments how much you're, in, uh, how you're enjoying these, and thank you so much for watching, guys, L please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, everything, um, if you enjoy my videos, that is, and yeah, thank you so much.